Welcome to Fast Tip Friday. This is Amy Bowser Rollins with Litigation Sport Guru. In today's tip, I'm going to show you how to create an action sequence in Adobe Acrobat Pro that will sort of do a batch processing of PDF files in a folder. And this particular action sequence is going to delete the first page of every PDF file and then resave it. So in this example, I have five files here, and each file has this cover page, and then three pages after that. So in this case, we want to delete this cover page from every PDF file. So if I close this and open a different one, so they each have this page as the first page and we've decided that we want to delete that first page. So you could have a whole folder full of PDFs that have this problem and run this sequence through the folder of PDFs and it'll automatically delete the first page and then save the files. So the steps are to go to Tools and then go down to the Action Wizard section and then click on Create New Action. And by the way, I'm in Adobe 11 Pro. So we're going to create new action. We need to tell it what files we want to process. So I'm going to click on Add File and I'm going to highlight or select all of the files. You can also add a folder if you want, but I'm going to add the file separately. Okay, so now we've got the files that we're going to do the action to. Over here, we're going to choose More Tools, and we're going to choose Execute JavaScript. And then we're going to click this plus sign, and that adds it over here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on Specify Settings. And between the two slashes, we're going to type something. So we're going to delete, we're going to type delete first page, and then after the slash, see how it says line one, column 24? After this slash, we're going to hit a hard return, and we're going to type this dot delete pages paren, zero, paren, semicolon. So delete pages does not have a space in it. And then we're going to click OK. So we do not want it to prompt the user. We want it to keep going one file after another without stopping. So we're going to deselect prompt user. So if we left it like this, it wouldn't um, know uh, what we want to do with saving, it would just come up and ask you to save every file. So we don't want to do that. So we want to come over here to save and choose save and then click this plus sign. And then, so now it's going to execute, which is to delete the first page, and then it's going to save the file. And if you specify settings, you could, if you wanted to, you could add a suffix. So you could add to original files here and add a suffix so that you know every file that was affected. But if you um, do what I teach, which is make a copy of everything before you start something like this. So I have a clean copy of it elsewhere that I can, a pristine copy that I can always get back to. So this is my working copy. So I'm just going to overwrite the files. So I'm going to click OK there. And I'm going to click Save. And I'm going to give the action a name. And then I'm going to click Save. And now in our list of actions, we have this action called Delete First Page. So now I'm going to select that action. We can see that it's automatically uh, pointing to the files that we told it to. And then we have the Start button. And then we can see down here that it's going to execute JavaScript and save the files. So you click Start. And you can see it's executing, saving, executing, saving. So then we can close the action when it's done. 
And then I'm going to close this last file that's open. And then I'm going to come back over here. And you can see it's three pages instead of four, and the first page is gone. I'm just going to open three of them so you can see what it's doing. Okay. So, actually, I need to open Adobe again. And I want to show you one more thing. Once that action exists, you can go to Manage Actions. And you can, if you want to edit it, you can right-click and edit it. But you can also edit it here. You can rename it. But what I wanted to show you is that you can export it. So you can export the sequence and it defaults to a file extension of SEQU. And you can, this is good if you want to share it with other people. So I've exported it and provided it to you as a download so that you could come here to import and import the SEQU, that's hard to say. Uh, file. So I wanted to show you how to create it, but I also wanted to just give you a copy of the sequence. And I want to clarify one more thing. If I go in here and edit, um, when we typed this uh, Greek gobbledygook, um, this zero is in Acrobat the first page is zero instead of one. So that's why it says zero instead of one. Okay? So that's it for today's tip. I hope you can put that to good use.